CabinetStream 35 portable respiratory monitor triggers alarms related to a patient condition. Alarms alert the healthcare provider that the patient's condition is beyond predefined limits. It also gives alarms for equipment errors. This video will discuss these alarms. Let's review troubleshooting for the CapnaStream 35 portable respiratory monitor. If there is a no breath message, first check to ensure that the patient is breathing. No breath could be due to the patient not exhaling carbon dioxide, which would require immediate clinical intervention. No breath could mean an airway obstruction, apnea, or a displaced or blocked sampling line. If a clogged or blocked sampling line is the problem, replace the sampling line. Another possible cause is that the sampling line is caught in something or the tube is kinked. Check the sampling line from the monitor all the way to the patient. If no kinks or problems are found, replace the sampling line. If the filter line disconnected message appears, first check to see that the sampling line is connected. If the pump is not working and there are no entitled CO2 or respiratory rate readings, check that the sampling line is properly connected. If the filter line blockage message appears, a clogged or blocked sampling line may be the problem. The sampling line should be replaced if blocked. If you see a low entitled CO2 value, it may be due to a mechanically ventilated patient who breathes spontaneously. This typically requires no action. If the patient is not intubated, ask the patient to take a deep breath and see if their ETCO2 returns to normal values. Low ETCO2 values may also be caused by hyperventilation. Other reasons may be from shallow breathing or low tidal volumes. This is most common in post-anesthesia recovery and in procedural sedation areas such as GI or cath lab. Also check for connection and line leaks to the patient and correct if necessary. Keep in mind that ETCO2 measures eliminated CO2 in an arterial blood gas, or ABG, measures the actual CO2 in the blood. Ventilation perfusion matching, known as VQ matching, is the relationship between ventilation, which is the airflow to the alveoli, and perfusion, which is blood flow to the pulmonary capillaries. A sudden change in ETCO2 may prompt you to measure PaCO2 via an arterial blood gas sample. If a patient needs to be disconnected from the monitor and standby mode is not set, alarms will sound. Instead, you should remove the sampling line from the monitor and press the alarm silence button for two seconds or longer. A standby message will appear. If there is no oxygen saturation signal, or SpO2, check that the sensor is properly connected. The SpO2 sensor disconnected message indicates that the sensor is not connected to the monitor. To fix, simply insert the SpO2 sensor into the SpO2 port on the monitor. If the sensor is not properly attached to the patient, the SpO2 sensor not on patient message will appear. Reattach the sensor to the patient to correct the issue. Excessive illumination and the sensor placement can cause inaccurate SpO2 measurements to appear. Check the sensor placement or cover it with a dark or opaque material. The CapnaStream 35 monitor does not require calibration in between patients, only once every 4,000 hours of operation or once a year, whichever comes first. However, if the calibration required message appears, contact your biomed team. Please also consult the CapnaStream 35 quick reference guide, which covers waveforms, troubleshooting, and other useful tips. This concludes our troubleshooting review. Please visit our website for more information.